హలో ఐఎమ్ డాక్టర్ ఈ శ్రీనివాస వర్కింగ్ యాజ్ అన్ అస్టెంట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ ఇన్ ఫిజిక్స్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ సమ్ కాన్సెప్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ అస్ట్రోఫిజిక్స్ విచ్ ఈస్ అ చాప్టర్ ఫార్ థర్డ్ బిఎస్సి ఫిజిక్స్ విచ్ ఈజ్ ఎ పేపర్ ఇన్ ఫిఫ్త్ సెమ్ ప్రిస్క్రైబ్డ్ ఫార్ కువెంపు యూనివర్సిటీ స్టూడెంట్స్ the session number 37 the name of the paper is atomic physics spectroscopy lasers and astrophysics in this paper i am dealing with astrophysics the learning objectives are the concept of stars measurement of distance of stars stellar parallax method units of astronomical distances they are astronomical unit light year parsec and their relations what are the prerequisites so before going to understand this session students should know the concept of the solar system knowledge of celestial bodies concept of light and also kepler's theory of planetary motion what are the session outcome from this session students will able to understand what are stars what are the different methods used to measure distance of stars what are the different units used to measure distance of stars and the relation between the different units introduction dear students we know that star is a self luminous pair of plasma held together by its own gravity the nearest star to earth is sun many other stars are visible to naked eyes from earth during the night appearing as a multitude of fixed luminous points in the sky due to their immense distance from earth historically the most prominent stars were grouped into constellation and asterisms the brightest of which gained proper names most of the stars in the universe including all stars outside our galaxy the milky way are invisible to naked eye from earth astronomy and astrophysics Astronomy is that branch of physics which deals with the study of relative positions of celestial objects and the related phenomena whereas astrophysics is branch of science or it is a branch of physics in which an attempts are made to explain astronomical phenomena on the basis of known laws of physics it is also an extension of astronomy which is mainly deals with the study of nature of stars physical properties of the stars the following are some of important physical properties of stars first one is distance of stars brightness of stars the luminosity surface temperature size mass and chemical composition we will study one by one in the next slides first of all the different units used to measure the distance of stars or planets the first one is astronomical unit au one astronomical unit is the mean distance between the sun and the earth the mean distance between the sun and the earth is called one astronomical unit or one au which is measured as 115 to 10 power 6 km or one astronomical unit is also equal to 1.5 into 10 power 11 meter because so we convert 115 to 10 power 6 km into meter as 1.5 into 10 power 11 meter for example mercury is at 0.38 astronomical unit while plutoid is at 39.4 astronomical unit the 
other unit used to measure the uh, stellar distances or light year light year is not the unit of time it is the unit of distance for measuring stellar distances even the astronomical unit is inconveniently small hence we use a bigger unit called a light year so what is light year or one light year one light year is the distance traveled by the light through space in one year at a speed of light which is 3 lakhs kilometer per second we know that velocity is equal to distance traveled over time taken so distance traveled is equal to velocity into time that is velocity of light is 3 lakhs kilometer per second that is 3 into 10 to the power of 5 kilometer per second into one complete year that is 365 days into 24 hours into 60 minutes into 60 second 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 will cancel we get the distance in kilometer so 3 into 10 power 5 kilometer per second here 60 second 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 will cancel we get kilometer so one light year after simplification is equal to 9.461 into 10 power 12 kilometer which is equal to 9.461 into 10 power 15 meter or one light year can be expressed in terms of the astronomical unit as 6.324461 into 10 power 4 astronomical unit. The nearest bright star Alpha Centauri is at a distance of around 4 light year. So we can also use this light year to measure the distance of the two stars in our own galaxy. There is about 10 to the power of 5 light years distance between one star and the other star which are at the end of our own galaxy that is Milky Way. So here we know that a unit of distance equivalent to how far light travels through space one year at a speed of light is the light year. Our sun is a part of large collection of stars called galaxy. Ours is called the Milky Way and consists of over 100 billion stars. So here the light year is used to measure the distance between any two stars in the galaxy and also in the universe. Here the sun, the approximate position of the sun in the Milky Way galaxy is here. And the center is called nucleus and this is called central bulge. This is our own galaxy, uh, Milky Way and the light year, 10 to the power of light year is the distance between any two stars which are at present at the edge of the Milky Way. And this is the universe, consists of large number of galaxies and the stars, Andromeda galaxy, Triangulum galaxy, that local group and this is the Milky Way galaxy. If we extend this Milky Way galaxy, it appears like this. And Andromeda is our nearest neighbor galaxy, about 2.9 into 10 power 6 light year distance from the Milky Way. So this Andromeda is the nearest galaxy from the Milky Way, which is at a distance of 2.9 into 10 power 6 light year. There are different methods used to measure the distance of the stars or far away stars. The simplest method of measuring stellar distances is by using the method of parallax. Most direct method for measure distances to nearby stars uses an effect called parallax. What is parallax? Parallax is a phenomenon in which there is an apparent change in the position of an object relative to its background due to the change in position of the observer. It is a phenomenon in which there is an apparent change in the position of an object relative to its background due to the change in the position of the observer. Parallax is measured by 
observing a star when the earth is on one side of the sun and then 6 months later parallax is measured by observing a star when the earth is on one side of the sun and then 6 months later and it is also given by the formula parallax in radian is equal to a by d where a is the radius of the earth's orbit that means the mean distance between the sun and the earth and d is the distance of the star from the earth and p is in radian so this is the parallax angle p so if we there is a, the sun at the center of the uh, solar system and earth is moving around the sun in elliptical orbit at january the position of the earth is here after 6 months later i mean in july the position of the earth is here from the earth we are observing this nearby star if you observe this nearby star in july from the earth the position of the star is here in january the nearby star appears to be here similarly in july the position of the earth is here if you observe this star from this earth the position of this star is appears to be here the apparent change in the position of the stars when it is observed from the different positions is called parallax and the angle made by this vertical line with this line is called parallax angle which is in radian or a degree or in minutes or second by measuring this parallax angle and also we know that the distance between the sun and the earth that is one astronomical unit we can measure the distance of the star from the earth or the sun so what is parallax the apparent change in the position of the star when it is seen from the earth and from 6 months later the 6 months later the position of the earth is here similarly we can also observe the closest star distance as the star is closest the apparent change in the position of the star is large and the parallax angle is also large this is another diagram shows this is the position of the sun in solar system and the earth is orbiting around the sun so at position p if you observe this star the star appears to here when this earth is at position q if you observe this star from this position the position of the star is here the apparent change in the position of the star when it is seen from the earth at different positions is called parallax angle and this is the distance between the sun and the star or earth and the sun parallax method we will uh, discuss in detail since angles are measured in degrees minutes or seconds we substitute p in radians but one radian is equal to 206265 second or arc second because we know that 180 degree is equal to pi radian 1 degree is equal to pi by 180 radian or 1 minute is equal to pi by 180 into 60 minutes 1 second is equal to pi by 180 into 60 minutes into 60 second then if we convert 1 by parallax in second or radian it can be converted into radian as 1 by pi 1 by pi of 180 into 60 into 60 will get 206265 arc second so p into pi by 180 into 1 by 16 into 1 by 60 is equal to p by 206265 second of arc or d is equal to 206265 a by p in arc second since a is equal to 1 angstrom substitute the a value as one next term we'll get 
the distance of the star d is equal to 206265 p astronomical unit if p is equal to 1 arc second that is 1 second of arc then we have d is equal to 206265 astronomical unit from this relation if p is equal to 1 arc second i mean the star makes parallax angle with the vertical of 1 arc second then the distance of the star is equal to 206265 astronomical unit then what is the definition of the parsec from this formula so we know that 1 parsec is equal to 206265 astronomical unit and if you convert the astronomical unit into light year that is 1 parsec is also is equal to 3.26 light year and 1 parsec is equal to 3 into 10 power 13 kilometer because 1 light year is equal to 9.461 into 10 power 1 kilometer if you multiply 3.26 into 9.461 into 10 power 12 we will get 1 parsec is equal to 3 into 10 power 13 kilometer and also 1 light year is equal to 9.461 into 10 power 15 meter the distance corresponding to p is equal to 1 arc second is called parsec then using the formula d is equal to 1 by p in parsec we will get 1 by parsec is 1 parsec is equal to 206265 astronomical unit so a parsec is defined as the distance of a star at which Earth's orbit subtends an, sub an angle of one second of arc. If the star makes or subtends an angle of one arc second, then one parsec is equal to 206 by astronomical unit. A parsec is defined as the distance of a star at which Earth's orbit subtends an angle of one second of arc. These are the books I used as reference to make this video. Thank you for watching.